Hey guys, in this video we'll be working with a bit more complex uh, problem for integration by parts. In a previous video I went over the basics of integration by parts, so if you haven't watched that, the link for that video will be in the description below. For this video we'll be working with the integral of x squared times cosine of 3x dx. And just a reminder, the form for integration by parts is integral of u dv equals uv minus integral of v du. So let's get started. First, let's, let's talk about why we have to use integration by parts in this case. Well, we can't just integrate this problem normally, but if we use u substitution and we set u as x squared, what would happen to the cosine of 3x? Or if we set u as equal to uh, cosine of 3x, what would happen to the x squared? If we didn't have the x squared, we could have used u substitution to just integrate cosine of 3x dx. So how do you get rid of the uh, x squared? Well, if we derive it, every time we derive this x squared, the power is going to reduce. And eventually, we can just get that to be a number. So we know that x squared is going to be our u, because that's going to derive into du. So x squared is the u then cosine, cosine of 3x is dv. du is just equal to 2x and v is, uh, v is the integral of this and I can't do that off the top of my head so I'm going to rewrite this in a separate space. So integral of cosine of 3x dx Instead of using u, I'll use w. w equals 3x. dw equals 3dx. Divide that by 3. So we can rewrite this problem as 1 third integral of cosine of w dw. And that just equals 1 third sine of w. And w is just 3x. And we don't need to worry about the plus c for now because we'll take care of it at the very end. And this is our v. So v is equal to one third sine of 3x. So we can go ahead and rewrite this problem as uv, which is x squared times sine of 3x divided by 3 minus integral of v du, which is one third sine of 3x, and du is just 2x dx. Well, once again, we have this x that's not going to let us integrate easily. So we can use integration by parts one more time, but just on this integral. And I'm going to take this two outside and just turn that into a coefficient. So I'll rewrite this to make things a bit simpler. So that equals x squared sine of 3x divided by 3 minus 2 third integral sine 3x times x dx. And once again, the u is going to be our x, and the du is just 1. The dv is sine of 3x, and the v, I'm going to do it off to the side again, integral of sine of 3x dx. Uh, I'll use u substitution, but instead of using u, I'll just write that as m. m equals 3x, dm equals 3, dx, divide this by 3. So we can rewrite this as one third integral of sine of m, dm, and, we, and that's negative one third cosine, m is just 3x, and once again, we don't need to worry about the plus c because we'll take care of it all the way at the end. And this is just v. So v equals 
negative one third cosine of three x. So we're going to rewrite this because this is going to be untouched at this point. X squared sine of three x divided by three minus two third and I'm going to make a bracket now because I'm working with this integral. The coefficient can just come outside. So the integral of sine of 3x times x dx can be written as uv, which is x times negative one-third cosine of 3x. So negative x cosine 3x divided by 3 minus and the negative one-third make this negative a positive so that becomes integral of one-third cosine of 3x dx so we can clean this up a little bit we can clean this up a little bit by distributing so I'll do that on the separate sheets just just to keep things simple So we had this so far, x squared sine of 3x divided by 3 minus 2 third negative x cosine 3x divided by 3 plus 1 third integral of cosine of 3x dx. So if we distribute this, the negative and negative here are going to make this a positive. So we have x squared sine of 3x over 3 plus 2 over 9 times x cosine of 3x. And the minus and the plus here are going to make this a minus, so minus 2, 9 integral of cosine of 3x dx and when we were going through the steps of integration by parts we figured out the integral of cosine of 3x which we said was just one third sine of 3x so this is just negative 2 divided by 9 times one third sine of 3x dx now we can write this entire solution and clean this up quite easily. So we have x squared times sine of 3x divided by 3 plus 2x cosine of 3x divided by 9 minus 2 sine of 3x over 9 times 3 is 27 plus c. Don't forget the plus c since the original problem was an indefinite integral. And that is the final answer. And that concludes this video. Hope you found it helpful. And again, for these longer problems, organization is probably key. So find a way to stay organized. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to comment below. If you haven't already, subscribe. And until next time, take care, guys.